This appears to have been made in, oh no, made in China. That's why sometimes it's a fine product. They just get some of the words wrong. Perfect. This is a master lock. You know master lock. Look, cable combo with paddle cock. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on the paddle cock. Just give me the lock. <laughs> my, my wife trusts me. Let's see what we have here. All right, meeting on open meeting is closed. <laughs> Here's the Orient Restaurant. Our reputation is built on our food. Look what it says. Traditional Chinese food, expertly repaired. <laughs> Let's say you got a broken wonton. Where do you take it? You bring it in here, make it look brand new. Other places just give you another one. This one will fix the wonton. Okay, I, I admit I'm a bad speller, but you know, I'm not a proofreader, okay? Who wrote this sentence? Jerry of Ben and Jerry speaks at BSC. Jerry Greenfield of Ben and Jerry fame will spoke at Bridgewater State College. Look at the next thing. Wednesday, ice cream was be served. <laughs> I love this story. Chihuahua Pack attacks police officer. Okay, all right. I mean, let's say, let's say it's the end of the day. You're back at the station house. You're with your, you're with your cops. You're with your homies, okay? What'd you do, Bob? Uh, some gang members had us pinned down, got caught in a crossfire. What happened to you, Larry? I was attacked by a bunch of Chihuahuas. They just seem, you know, don't even tell people. Uh, this is state smoking ban takes effect. Uh, I think they're taking away people's rights, says Harry Sumner, lighting up. Pretty soon you won't even be able to be naked in your own backyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, this says jury finds Spates guilty of murder. He didn't help himself. Look at this plea. Defendant makes plea in closing argument. Please find me not guilty of the crimes I have committed. <laughs> well, 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 right there. Well, well. <laughs> At least he's honest. All right, give me a break. Oh, this is the stupidest thing. Tell your TV what to do with voice activated remote. Well, you can't press the button. <laughs> Bonanza! I want to watch Bonanza on Channel 11. <laughs> Here's a poorly written sentence. Seniors to tour morgue eat ribs. <laughs> Tyler knows. Tyler knows the importance of keeping his disaster supply kit handy. Yeah, what is that? Two ice creams? That's his disaster supply kit? This is a postcard someone sent me. Look. Wish you were here, Orlean General Hospital. What is that? Oh, thanks a lot. How do you say that name, Kev? El Eldo? Uh, Alito? Alito, yeah. Alito Fitness Center. Look at where it's located, right behind Alito Donut Shop. So this guy, <laughs> this guy gets you coming and going, basically. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, Dellingen Teacher of the Year. He was one of the few who actually enjoyed his teachers at Nathan Lane High School. Wow, I didn't know Nathan was that good. Yeah, who's on our show tonight. It's <laughs> See, it's Nathan Hale who was a... <laughs> I had that last week and I saved it for him and now he looks like an idiot. <laughs> look, he's here. Look, wait, wait, where'd it go? Look, will you fake it for me? I'm gonna do it again. The guy is here, okay? Look, he was one of the few teachers, one of the few who liked his teachers at Nathan Lane High School. Here's the best little gym in town, Nautilus Poolside Fitness Center, and look, that's actual science. <laughs> Some sort of finger pool, apparently. I love this one. 
First show the story, uh, Ellen. Garland City resident Percy Williams helps the owners of G&G &G Gross remove contaminated food from the store after Tuesday night fire. It's very nice of him. Can we see the contaminated food? He's taking a case of Miller Lite, or <laughs> Bud Light. A case of Bud Light he's got there. <laughs> Apparently got contaminated. <laughs> I want you to look at this couple. Look at the man and the woman, ready for relief from arthritis. Look, the man had arthritis, and oh, look at him picking, oh, okay. Now, isn't this the same guy? Does size matter? Penal enhancement. Yeah, so. And you don't want to know how he's holding her up there. So apparently, uh, apparently those stiff joints are paying off. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. When you're a professional photographer, you work for a newspaper, you're taking a picture of people for the newspaper, don't ask them to stand in front of the balloons, okay? That's what happens when they stand in front of the balloons. I love this. Sewerage spill kills fish, but water safe to drink. I would just, if you push the fish aside, and, well, look at this thing here. This is a copy machine, a big sale on this copy machine. Look what they're copying. Look, $100 bills. Okay. Okay, this is an Amtrak train that derailed. It says, passenger said the train was moving at full speed when it collided with the truck. The train's front two wheels derailed from the track. Diesel fuel splashed across the front of the train, and hours later, fuel still dripped from the truck's fuel tanks. Amtrak personnel then opened the window so we could smoke cigarettes, Dow said. <laughs> I was worried about the diesel fuel being around. Well, put out the cigarette, you moron! <laughs> Only Amtrak could make it worse. Let's open the window so you folks can smoke. <laughs> what does this mean? Lost donkey wearing pink halter. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the Sweet Temptation. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Sweet Temptation restaurant. Assorted platter, petite samples of house favorites, and a side of boner. What is that? <laughs> now, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Folks, if you have a headline, send the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. Or go to our website, nbc.com slash Tonight Show. Be right back with Matthew.